Hey everybody, AVP Wargamer here. I had a request to show off my Terranid collection. So I have all these boxes over here stacked up full of my huge Terranid collection. This is going to be in no particular order because I have uh, stuff from many different editions. Uh, starting with second edition, here is my, one of my first miniatures in my Terranid army. Um, this is a Zonthrope from the first edition Terranids. Um, or shall I say, well, actually, it's technically second edition, but, you know. Uh, anyways, um, here is uh, one of the Xenothropes, one of the original ones, in my collection. And then here's, let's see, I've got a couple Xenothropes, actually. Here's um, one of my newer Xenothropes. Now, this one was missing some of the arms, so I um, kind of did my own little design here, having the arms stick out. Like that. I really like it. This is a metal miniature, just like that one. Um, but I think it turned out pretty good. I'm kind of doing the red and black uh, scheme on most of my Terranids. Uh, let's see, what else do I got here? Let's see if I can find my other zone throbe. I'll find it. Anyway, so let's uh, move on to some lictors, shall we? Alright, here's, here's my first lictor. Um, I, I felt like I did a pretty good pose on this lictor. Again, a second edition lictor. And here is another second edition lictor. So there's those guys. Let's put them over here. Um, here's one of my newer lictors that I got. I got this on a trade with somebody I met online. And this, is, again, is another white metal miniature. So that lictor. I really like this is something I painted a couple months ago. That stuff I painted back in the 90s. Um, but I really like this kind of red and black theme there. Let's see. Um, here is a conversion I did back in the late 90s. Um, there is a card in one of the, in the Epic um, game for a bio assassin. So this is my own version of a bio assassin. So this is using um, the this torso piece, this is off of a, um, a Terranid Biotitan from Epic. These arms are from Epic. Those legs are from Elictor. The upper half is from Elictor. Um, let's see, what were those Scything Talons from? I forget what those were from. And then these are the plastic Scything Talons. Uh, and then Lash Whips. Um, connected to there. And then some extra little spiky bits back there. So this I can use as like, you know, a special kind of character thing. All right, let's get into, um, oh, here's another Lictor. Here's another second edition Lictor. This one I actually stripped the paint off and repainted. A lot of my stuff was a little too colorful back in the day. And so this one I stripped probably in the early 2000s and repainted it. All right, so ton of Lictors over there. Now let's go for, oh, let's do a little Biotitan. Here's a Biotitan from Epic. There we go. Now let's do some Turned Warriors. Here's some second edition Turned Warriors that were metal. All right, let's put them over there. Uh, let's see, more Terranid Warriors. There we go. Here's one with a Devourer. And here's one with a uh, Venom Cannon. I really like the look of that old Venom Cannon, actually. I think it's pretty fun. Okay. Ugh. Here's an, one of the plastic ones with a Venom Cannon. This, I think, was like 5th edition, but they still use the same models today. And let's see. Ah, there's my other um, Zonthrope. So, <laughs> it's funny, I, I was playing a game the other day and I had all three of the different Zonthropes from three different editions all in the same squad. And it was pretty fun. Okay, let's see. Here's another Turned Warrior. 
This one I gave him a little jeans to the claw there because I wanted him to kind of do this this gun up in the air pose. I thought that would pretty be pretty cool. And then I have a turned warrior with just silent scything talons. I put this guy in squads to be the first one to die because he's the cheapest loadout. A little cheap way of working the rules in your into your favor. Here's some turned warriors with lash whips. These guys I painted a couple months ago. So pretty pretty fun. Two different loadouts. One with Scything Talons, one with Rending Claws. Oh, here's another warrior with uh, Devourer. So I'll put him over there. All right. Um, and then I also uh, did some Shrikes. These are metal uh, Reaper miniatures, like Demon Wings. You can buy them in packs. So I decided to get a, a pack of them. Well, this guy wanted a little bit higher up in the air, so I attached him to the base and actually took a little, little stick of metal there from an old sprue, glued it on the side of his leg to kind of get him up in the air a little bit higher. And then here's my third strike for that squad. Devour our last rip bone swords. And then using a bunch of bits in my bits box, I made a uh, alternate prime. Uh, the upper half was from a Tyranid warrior body, and then the lower half is from um, an old hive tyrant second edition. So the bottom half is is metal, top half is plastic. So there's that guy. Oh, here's another Tyranid warrior, which has two bone swords. Here's another lictor. A lot of the newer versions of the lictors are all in the um, we're in the same trade deal, so I have a, a bunch of those to paint. Here's some raveners. These are the metal ones. Here's another ravener. Right there. Hive guard. This was one of the resin ones when they were way too expensive. Now you can get them in plastic, which is a lot better, but still kind of expensive, but lovely model nonetheless. All right, here's, let's get into some old hive tyrants here. Here's an old second edition hive tyrant. I'm not, a, I think this one I repainted from when I was a kid forget when I repainted that, but it was either late 90s or early 2000s. Now these Hive Tyrants, you could, it'd probably be better to use them as um, Tyranid Primes, but he's got wings, this one, Venom Cannon, two Bone Swords. This one, I'm not really happy with this one, I was just messing around. I took the old Zone Throat head and put it on a Hive Tyrant and repainted it and changed it up. I don't know, I might... I might strip this one down and do something different because I think it's kind of goofy, goofy looking. And then we have the Red Terror. I put him with a gloss because I wanted him really slimy looking. Red Terror. Here's an old Screamer Killer. This was the second Screamer Killer that I owned and it used to be painted blue. You can guys see some blue coming through there, I had a chip taken out of it, but I repainted it to fit with my color scheme. Um, here was a, here's, this one's kind of goofy looking. Might be worth stripping him down and using the parts for something else. But Screamer Killer, when it was allowed to have a devourer, and older rules. Um, and then here's a newer Hive Tyrant. This one I actually bought, used, and then repainted it. And then I did the the double cannon there, made out of two old metal barb stranglers. But I really liked the original 
person who put this together put all those spikes on the back, which I really liked. So there you go. Now here is one of my favorite models. This is a conversion using stuff out of my bits box. Um, obviously, you can see the head was from a Moloch. Uh, plastic um, scythes and crushing claws. The uh, legs are hive tyrant legs from the plastic kit. And then this body piece right here, this is actually from an Aliens action figure from Kenner. This was the Scorpion Alien. And I used um, this piece and glued all this stuff together. And then I, I put in some uh, plumber's epoxy and sculpted it to kind of blend it together in, in the jaws and in the waist. But otherwise, that's just a toy action figure with bits from my bits box. And I got a really cool Carnifex out of it. All right, so that's one case empty. Now, I will go to my other case. Starting with all the big bugs first. Uh, here's my original 1990s Screamer Killer with its original paint job. Uh, this was my first Tyranid uh, Carnifex that I painted. And I still love using it to this day. A lot of people think he's goofy looking, but I like it. I like the tiger stripes. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and I liked it so much that I actually, since the 90s, had a conversion going on. So I have this Flying Hive Tyrant. Now, this part is an old 90s metal Tyranid Hive Tyrant upper body. Old Screamer Killer arms, which I took off of um, this guy. And then I glued it onto here. And then this, the plastic wings and the body and the tail, um, I actually got um, from a Hive Tyrant kit when I was building my Swarm Lord. I used the extra pieces left over. Uh, to this guy and glued it all together. So actually the this middle half I had for probably a good um, 15 years and then or, or longer and then um, once I got a plastic kit of the new Hive Tyrant I finally finished my model. Which was really cool because I bought two Hive Tyrants and I, I was able to make this one and that one and a Swarm Lord all out of the same kind of um, kit bashing. So for the price of two Hive Tyrants, I was able to get uh, the Swarm Lord and two Hive Tyrants out of two kits because I had all the extra bits. Which is a great thing about Tyranids, you get lots of extra bits. I really like the Swarm Lord and how he turned out. Standing on a Space Marine. This guy's painted in the chapter colors for my Space Marine chapter. Alright, so Swarm Lord. And then, let's go back to some big bugs. Um, oh, this was a um, third party uh, drop pod made out of like a, a foam resin. And it was originally put, painted in neon colors and I repainted it to kind of match my army. All right, oh, and then here's another card effects. This is old one eye from, I think it was third edition. Old one eye standing on a dark elder. I really like the fact that it had this little blast streak going all the way through. The new one eye doesn't do that. Okay, so there's one eye. Um, and then we have here's my um, uh, Turbagon. This one I painted last year. And I actually stuck an extra um, Termagant here. I glued him kind of coming out because he was actually missing a leg. And I didn't have the bits to give him a leg. So I decided to add him to this. And then I put a ton of stuff on the base to kind of give it some cool texture. And then I added these little spikies here from a Moloch. Whoops, lost an arm. To... Um, Kind of give it that synapse look. And um, the arms I made detachable so that I could switch out his weapon options. Um, and I used some old Legos to do that. And I'll show you on um, Terran effects in a minute. All right, here's the Trigon. I love how this model turned out. So 
So Trigon. Now here's the Tyrannofix. Now you can see right here, I took some Legos, just uh, some little bits and glued them on there. And, uh, and then I used, uh, for the arm options, uh, these two are from the little Lego antenna. You can see the slot where the antenna would stick out, but it had this nice little round cap. So I, I painted up each weapon so that it can kind of click in like that. Now you might notice something different about the Terran FX. Um, this, uh, this torso piece actually flipped upside down. So the head usually goes here and the tail goes here, but I wanted him to stand up and shoot. I thought the, the crouching low to the ground, um, like the Teravagon, looked really funny because I didn't want... Well, first I wanted him you know, to stand a little bit taller and look a little bit more menacing, but you can see the difference there. Uh, this guy's low to the ground and this guy's kind of standing up. And there's how there's the back pieces. So a lot of people are like, whoa, where'd you get that model? And it's like, no, it's just a Turvagon um, Tronifex model. But that's one, one weapon option. Okay, pop that off. And then here's the uh, flesh bore hives. These were really fun to paint. And again, Legos. Just connects like that. There we go. So there's with the flesh bore hive option. And then here's the acid spray. Okay. <laughs> like that. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so I'll leave him there. Okay, now for the other models, here, I'll just move this guy out of the way, because I'm going to have to make it the big one. Now, I, I'm not sure um, how to pronounce this guy's name, but the Dimicaron, I believe is how you pronounce it, a Forgewood World model. There's the um, the bottom there. Okay, well, let's get this guy into focus. Mm-hmm. It's pretty awesome. Now this base this is from a Heroclix Predator model. And then there's one of those little sporcis things. So there's him added to the army. And well one thing I did differently was actually um I didn't like the back claw sticking straight out the opposite direction. Um, in fact, one of them actually broke off on me, so I switched it for some um, scything talons that came off of a kit for a um, trigon. Now, I have another box here. Uh, this is my aliens box filled with more bugs. So I'm not going to pull out all of them. I'll just pull out a few. A lot of you may or may not remember these original um, Hormogods. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There it goes. So there's the original Hormogods, followed by one of the newer Hormogods. Like that. And I've got three or four squads of, of those. Here's the original Gargoyle from uh, second edition. So again, here's my whole box full of Hormigants and Gargoyles. Yes, they're not packed very well. That's because I played a game last with them and didn't have a chance to really put them away properly. All right, now we'll get to another box here. Um, I have a couple second edition Biovores. Here's them. And Biovores are amazing in the new game. Um, and so now I'm gonna show you some more. 
Okay, so continuing on, um, here's all my spore mines. Uh, the spore mines, I didn't really um, have an idea of, of how I was going to paint them. So I kind of painted them a bunch of different random colors, which isn't too bad. And I find I kind of settled with this kind of more green, green and purple scheme with a couple of red ones. Here's a couple of my original ones, but again, they're too colorful and didn't really match. But I got a ton of spore mines. And then I got a bunch of rippers. So I got one, two, three, four, five ripper bases painted. I got more. Here's some second edition rippers. So you can see these were metal. Again, back then, the sculpting wise, they didn't really know what they wanted the rippers to look like. And then they finally settled for more of this look. This one, I put these little uh, toxin sacks on. Well, actually, no, those aren't toxin. Those are adrenaline glands. So I was just kind of going for a different variety. But most of my other rippers look like this, which I think look better. Um, hey, here's an old uh, uh, spike rifle termagant. Then here's some devourer termagants. Got a bunch of those. Here's flesh boar. Spine fists. Okay. Um, here's a Space Hulk gene uh, sealer. Um, oh, this is a, a second edition Termagant in plastic. I named him Cool Papa and gave him sunglasses. So he's my little funny character there. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, here's some more second edition plastic Termagants. Which don't look too bad when you mix them in with the newer ones, but they're they're pretty bad in the detail. All right, let's see. This one I was just playing with. Um, I had a I had one that was missing a head, so I gave him a tinted warrior head. I thought, hey, look, a synapse termagant. I don't know. Kind of silly. And then here is first edition tinted termagant. I think they used to be called Terran, just regular Terranids. Um, they had a bigger one that was like that big before this one, but this one looks like the bigger one back before they had the Terranid Warriors. And here's a Space Hulk Gene Sealer. Gave him the base. Here's an original plastic Gene Sealer with flesh hooks. Here's a Swarm Lord. I love the Space Hulk Swarm Lord because of all the skulls on his base. I think he is amazing. I love me a Swarm Lord. Here's some more Space Hulk Gene Stealers. Give him larger bases. And these, these uh, metal pieces are Legos that I glued on there. Um, now there was a couple more. Let's see. More Space Hulk Gene Sealers. Gene Sealers take forever to paint. Now, here's an interesting thing. This guy right here, if you have Space Hulk, the guy that's holding the Terminator head is actually missing an arm. It's this arm right here. That arm is actually from a regular plastic gene sealer, one of the original ones, and I snapped it off and glued it onto this guy so that he would have all four arms. Because originally this one was missing that arm right there. And they just conveniently left it off thinking that nobody would notice. Of course, we'd noticed. Oh, here's, um, here's a, a Termagant that has a weapon that they don't do anymore. This is a strangle web cannon, or just strangle web gun. So kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. I'll show you a few more Space Hulk Terminator or Space Hulk. Uh... So anyways, that's uh, the pretty much my whole um, Terminator collection. I do have some Gene Stealer cult stuff too. Like I have the basic box set for um, Death Watch Overkill. 
Um, and I'll show that in a later video. So this is just the Patriarch from that one. Um, and I do have an, uh, these, whoops, these to, I gotta paint. I got some of the, the newer gargoyles that need to be painted. Um, I've got some more um, lictors and some raveners. And there's some more rippers for you. So these, th this little box full I need to get painted. And then I also do have a bunch of uh, first edition Tyranids, but I'm not sure exactly where those went. Um, I'll... And they're not really that impressive. And I just got these two Zotes, which I'm going to paint up. I got these used. I have one of the ones with the flesh bore too. But those are all put away. Um, and the, the paint jobs aren't really that impressive anyways. So um, anyways, yeah. There you go. There's my Turnid collection. Hope you enjoyed.